gets a bump from Joey Logano. Logano gets left out to dry and Bubba going down low. Gets a, is starting to push the seven cars. We are at the final lap. LaJoy's loose. He's got a tire out. Bubba's in the sucker hole. Joe's now to the lead. He's going to block Bowman. Now he blocks Briscoe. Briscoe spins him on his side as Eric Jones. Caution comes out and the race is called. Here at Daytona, Eric Jones on his side. Not yet, not yet official to see who won this race, but that is when the caution came out. And it looks like Briscoe should have gotten it. But he was involved in a wreck with his other two teammates along with Alex Bowman. On that and that main machine, he gets to the inside with only two more laps to go. Brad Kizalowski up to third now after he passed Kyle Larson. Reddick looks high, then he looks low. Back down to into turns number three and four. White flag in the air for Alex Bowman. Can he snap his winless streak? Tyler Reddick's to the inside of him. Reddick clears Bowman down the back stretch. What will Bowman do? He puts him. He puts the bumper to the eight car. Up the track goes Tyler Reddick. Out of turn four, and Alex Bowman is going to win the return to North Wilkesboro. And what a performance from the 48 team. He burns it and down here. used that high lane all day long, and Alex Bowman just did. One more lap to go here at Nebraska. Bowman gets loose underneath Byron. Now here comes Denny Hamlin through the middle to take second place. Hamlin overdrives it. Here comes Larson for second, and William Byron is going to win at Nebraska. Scout going to three. Oh, he looks like he's going to bump the 24 out of the way through turn number six. Byron barely leads that lap as we have one more to go here at the Roll through turns one and two for the final time Byron slides up the track going down into turn three number now Byron could return the favor here and he does shoves Truex up the track he takes the lead back going through five and six he slides up though Truex slides off of the bumper of the 24 but Byron's gonna win it at the line a, is starting to push the seven cars we are at the final lap LaJoy's loose he's got a tire out Bubba's in the sucker hole Joe's now to the lead. He's going to block Bowman. Now he blocks Briscoe. Briscoe spins him on his side as Eric Jones. Caution comes out, and the race is called. What a finish here at Daytona. Bowman, and that means that Kurt Busch is the winner of the Daytona 500 of season number three. Push him to the lead. White flag in the air. Ryan Blaney and Bubba Wallace, buddy, side by side for this win. Three wide in the back. Larson almost gets spun. He's gonna save it. Here comes Kurt Busch after Bubba Wallace blocked his buddy. Three wide for the race lead. Kurt Busch through the middle. Blaney's to the lead and Blaney spins, but Kurt Busch is going to be victorious in Talladega. Rick Jones. Would you Bubba Wallace is gonna have half a car length lead over Kislowski as he's gonna lead that lap. And down the back stretch they go. They're going to fan out just a little bit. And we got trouble. William Byron's upside down. Barrel rolling down into turn number three. Vicious crash here at Talladega. And the first big one is out here in Alabama. The red flag is now out. And we're going to take a look at the replay here. But you see the contact between Christopher Bell and William Byron. And then Byron caught air with that impact. And then Chase Elliott, William Byron's teammate, Made contact with Kyle Busch, which caused Elliott to ramp over the tire of Kyle Busch and hitting William Byron, which caused him to spin around and send him into that barrel roll. And after surveying the damage from the 18 and 9 car, yeah, right there, it looks like Chase Elliott just ramped uh, on the side of Kyle Busch's car in the car. field. In and he's going to make it three wide with Hamlin and Larson. He's going to clear him back down the double file. We got radio transmission from the five. And there it is. Kyle Larson's blowing up, and there goes the engine. Kyle Larson's engine expires here. The Hendrick Motorsports entry of Kyle Larson is out. And problems with the leader. Here's some radio chatter. And the 24's having some more engine issues, and there it goes. Another Hendrick Motorsports motor has now blown here at Gateway. And this time, it is the second Final Four, four contender. Three more laps remain. Logano's trying to look to the outside. Two more laps to go. Can Suarez hold on to this championship? Logano's going to go wide. Hard into the outside wall. And that's going to bring out a caution. Snag the championship from the 99. We'll have to see how it turns out. Green flag back in the air. Two to go here in overtime. 
Here comes Kurt Busch down to the inside of the 99, trying to look for a championship and trying to join Hamlin and Harvick as champions. White flag in the air. One more lap to go here in Gateway. Top three all single file. Swore is going to have a last charge here in the final corners. He's there. He's got half a car length there, but it's not enough. Kurt Busch will be a champion in the AAPCS. They have a bit of an advantage on that low lane. They're going to single file it out just a little bit. Larson's in the wall again. He's struggling there as we're coming up to only the white flag. He's got a bit of a tire rub as we have one more lap to go here at Sin City. What can Denny Hamlin do as they go down the back stretch? He's going to look high. He's going to look low. Larson up the track. Into the wall. Into Hamlin. Hamlin hits him back. But it's going to be Denny Hamlin in the 11 the machine. He looks low. He gets to the outside of Kyle Larson. What will Kyle Larson do? Looks like he's going to get a better entry going into turn number one. Here comes Denny Hamlin down on the inside as we only have two laps to go. Coming down to the white flag here at Darlington. Kyle Larson looks to the inside, looking for his own, for his first win in the AAPCS. Denny Hamlin looking for his second this season. He almost wrecks him going into turn number four. Hamlin's in the wall. Out of four, Kyle Larson is a victor in the AAPCS. Hey, two more laps to go here. Kozlowski has the lead over Kevin Harvick. Harvick bumps him up the track. Here comes Kurt Busch for third place on Denny Hamlin. But Kevin Harvick's taking the lead back away from Brock Kozlowski. Kurt Busch is, back to, is now up to second. As we only have one more lap to go here. Kevin Harvick trying to hold off Kurt Busch for the race lead. Can he do it as they go down the backstretch? Kurt Busch looks low on Harvick. It's not enough to make the move for the lead. Can he hold on to it? Yes, he can. Kevin Harvick snaps a winless streak of over 20 races here in Seattle. Now from fourth, I believe. Tyler Reddick has a bit of a moment. And Kyle Busch is going to now be up to second. Kyle Busch almost spins. Daniel Suarez. Suarez manages to save it. And Chase Elliott now making it three wide for the race lead almost. Will Suarez retaliate as he comes down the backstretch? He's pushing him. He shoves him into the corner. And Kyle Busch is going to go wide. Coming out of turn number four. White flag waves in the air for Daniel Suarez. Can Chase Elliott or Kyle Busch catch him? Daniel Suarez coming down the backstretch. Elliott slides. He saves it. Here comes Kyle Busch almost making it three wide for the race lead once again. Out of four for the final time. It's not going to be enough. Daniel Suarez is going to be a winner at Fontana. And what a way to get your second career victory. Your first non-super He saves speed. it though. Denny Hamlin takes advantage and takes second away from him. Three more laps to go here in this event. Can Trix hold off Denny Hamlin and possibly win again and for the first time in this season? Or will the defending series champion Denny Hamlin do something about it? He pushes him out of the way into turns one and two with only two laps to go. Trix is going to try a crossover move. Will it work? Doesn't seem like it's going to work. White flag in the air. Teammates battling for this lead. Trix is on the door of Hamlin. Can he make something happen? Down the back stretch they go for the final time. Through three and four. Trix and Hamlin, they make contact. Sliding. Trix wins the race sideways, but a huge wreck exiting this race.